Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I have something super, super interesting to discuss with you guys, and also it could genuinely be pretty exciting. Now, the information I'm going to be showing to you guys appears to have come from IGN, and I'm sure some of you guys already know what IGN is. It's a major and significant broadcasting company who share a lot of official information from gaming companies, big or small. We do know that they have worked with Rock Rockstar Games in the past upon some of their major DLCs. For example, when the Heist DLC was being released, IGN had some inside information about that and spoke about Heist prior to the release of that DLC. For this very reason, I think it's fair to say that they might know some more inside information about what's to come so they can prepare their articles for whenever Rockstar Games do release their information. It's pretty standard within this type of industry. When a company has something big on its way, they will notify the inner circle of publishers and tell them to write up their articles to get the information out there the moment Rockstar release their information. Anyway, something which has just gone around Twitter is this tweet from what appears to be IGN. Hashtag GTAV, Grove Street Stories expansion pack coming next week to Grand Theft Auto V on Xbox One, PS4 and PC. And we have an image of Franklin, Michael and Trevor underneath. There's also a link which links to an article from IGN. Unfortunately, we cannot follow up on that link. And unfortunately, we can't find this tweet at all as it appears to have been removed. But does this mean this tweet even happened? Well, unfortunately, I cannot confirm Confirm if this has happened or not. No matter how many people tell me they've seen this, no matter how many people tell me they haven't seen it, I haven't seen it with my own eyes, and because of that, I cannot confirm if it's happened or not. But I'm going to go into a few theories about whether this tweet is real or fake. So to start off this information, I'm going to be taking a look at the schedule of this tweet, which is 4.30pm. And the theory which everyone in the community has been coming up with is that 4.30pm is a time you could schedule something for. It's a common choice on YouTube to schedule a video for uh, on the hour or half past the hour Hour and a lot of YouTubers do it and it's usually either half past or on the hour like I said. Now there's a program you can use on Twitter which will allow you to schedule tweets so what could have happened is Rockstar could have given companies like IGN inside information about future updates and DLCs but the initial time Rockstar Games gave these companies was a time earlier than Rockstar Games were going to actually release the information. As a result of this, this miscommunication could have allowed IGN to accidentally post this article out just a bit earlier than Rockstar Games were planning to release this information, which may have led IGN to remove this tweet. Now, another thing I want to go down is that although that theory is pretty plausible, I mean, it happens with loads of news sources, they accidentally release information before the company asks them to, or maybe there was a delay in the information on behalf of the company, and that delay didn't get through to the news agency until the information was released. Although those human errors can happen, I'm going to go with fake on this image. The reason why I say that is because taking a look at the art on this tweet, I recognized it from somewhere. I recognized that this art had been on the newswire before, or at least on Rockstar's Twitter page, or something affiliated to Rockstar's social media. So what I did is I took a small screenshot from the image on the tweet, and lord behold, I found it all over Google on a variety of sources which appear to show off some new fan art for Rockstar Games. Now this fan art appears to have also got a signature on it from the person who made it. So this is definitely not made by Rockstar Games, which can only lead to one thing, that this is a complete hoax. And the person who came out with this information was likely the person who hoaxed the entire source itself. And by the looks of things, everything about this source is just fake. The moment I found out that the image on it was fan art, no way could this be real. Rockstar or IGN or anyone would not use fan art on any sort of DLC release. It has to be theirs, it has to be something they've created. So in my opinion, I am going to have to call the entire thing a fake and the entire thing a hoax. So don't believe this information or this, or this source, guys. If you see it, discard it. Maybe put a tweet or a comment on it saying it is false, it is fake, it's not happening. Although the concept of this update may be happening in the future, for example, 
game files and sources and leaks have confirmed something single player related. Maybe it could be expansions or episodes for each character. That would kind of make sense. And back in 2014, Rockstar were reiterating how they wanted to bring out a single player DLC. So although it doesn't mean we're not going to be getting any sort of single player DLC of that kind, it just means that this source is fake. It's a hoax and don't believe it. So guys, I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to smack that like button if you did. And also don't forget to click that subscribe button if you are new here, as you will never miss out on any more Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. Let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments section below. But guys, my name is Nort, and I will catch you guys next time.